This is a quick video for Andrew Alderson um, on velocity in pipes. This uh, formula is not the official formula for velocity in pipes, but it's a simplified formula. and uh, it's uh, It treats the liquid as if it was a solid or a ball uh, within the pipe work. Um, I've compared this to the results uh, using some of the, the much more complicated uh, formulas and the result is, is extremely close and for domestic certainly really close enough but it puts the maths into the the realms of a domestic engineer um, so um, a couple of little design criteria now these these are sort of uh, collected data there's no official uh, stated velocities for low loss headers and distribution headers but these are things we've sort of collected by looking at other designs and information from various sources. I think Kim Betty's done some research on this as well. And I think we've found various figures between uh, 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 meters per second for low loss headers. And, and through experimentation, it seems to be really not that critical. Um, but the idea of any low velocity section of pipe is that you're gonna get low, uh, low pressure uh, difference across that section. So low delta P uh, gives uh, a lack of induced flow in a circuit. And um, similar to close couple T's, the, um, the proximity of the two T's um, has the same effect as having a large bore pipe in giving low delta P. So if you want to design a low loss header, for example, tubed header, you know what your target velocity is, that's 0.3 meters per second. You can put the figures into this formula. For heating pipes, by the way, which I haven't noted here, the target velocity is 0.9. Some sources claim uh, or state one meter per second. Simply in the design book put 0.9, and I've seen it used very commonly to use the value of one meter per second. But anyway, this formula is uh, quite simple. So the internal diameter of your pipe that you need is equal to, I've written the formula wrong, um, there you go, corrected, two times the square root of 1000 divided by pi, um, divided by the target velocity multiplied by your liters per second that you've got from your mass flow rate calculation. So if you apply that, uh, you'll come back to your ID. Now you can use this for all the pipe sizing around a system, um, but it's a preliminary calculation. If you're sizing pipes on a system, generally you also need to look at the pressure losses in those pipes and the, the uh, effect that's going to have on balancing. So you may not use this to actually determine the final diameter, but it would be your starting point in the design calculation. If you use the SIBSI lookup chart for pipe sizing, you'll find the results from this come uh, pretty much in line with the SIPSI chart as well. So again, so that formula is the internal diameter equals two times the square root of 1000 divided by pi over the target velocity multiplied by the liters per second. Um, I hope that helps.